Let's now talk about lower power consumption. There are multiple places where power penalties may build up as part of other silicon architectures, including the silicon itself, increase in silicon core die area, two to six devices versus one device, additional serializers and deserializers to connect chips together, reading packets from buffers and move data multiple times, Increased loss in power planes and supplies, delivering the higher current to the chips and system respectively. Increased fan speed to cool the higher power draw. This translates to a very significant effect at the full system level. System builds with the Cisco Silicon One Q200 base systems can provide 12.8 terabits per second of routing performance in under 390 watts of power, while we estimate system build with the next closest competitor consume more than a thousand watts and with high scale longest prefix match, we estimate that it requires more than 1350 watts. Power efficiency and sustainability is critical to customers such as web scale providers for several reasons. The amount of power available to a data center is established during initial power distribution design and construction. Adding power capacity later is cost prohibitive. Once built, data center processing capacity can only be improved by higher efficiency equipment. Data centers are built to remove a certain amount of heat from servers, networking gear, and switches. Today, the heat from this IT equipment is removed by industrial scale air conditioning. Retrofitting a building to change air handling capacity might not be possible or can become quite costly. The air conditioning and chiller equipment used to remove heat requires significant power itself, adding yet more expenses. Many web scale service providers have committed to powering their facilities exclusively with low carbon electricity. Higher energy efficiency means less power must be provided from on-site solar, purchase power agreements, or renewable energy certificates. What we found is that across the top of rack, leaf, and spine layers, Cisco Silicon One may reduce power draw by up to 27%, while at the DCI layer power draw may be reduced by up to 66%. Combining all the layers, we can see that up to 30% reduction in the power might be possible with Cisco Silicon One, saving up to 580 kilowatts of power. For more detail on this Silicon One web scale data center study, you can go to the link provided in this video to see all the details. And finally, visibility, which includes advanced instrumentation and telemetry that allow us to manage the network in a very powerful way. Some telemetry capabilities for Cisco Silicon One include Programmable meters used for traffic policing and coloring. Programmable counters used for flow statistics and OEM loss measurements. Programmable counters used for port utilization, microburns detection, delay measurements, flow tracking, elephant flow detection, and congestion tracking. Traffic mirroring, ER spam on drop. Support for S-Flow and NetFlow. In summary, Cisco Silicon One provides multiple key features or characteristics with multiple benefits for platforms hosting it, which allow us to maximize utilization for the highest return of investment, and it turns increased platform sustainability at the core of data. Silicon One provides a unified architecture that enables accelerated service and innovation by enabling network administrators to plan, qualify, and deploy networks architecture faster and easier without having to worry about compatibility and different architectures for each network function.